got James Shaw. We're just going to we're just going to put him through now. So we will come back to the story if you're listening and you are interested in the story about uh, Christchurch parks and charging for the use of them. James, are you there? I am. Hello. Um, Green Party co-leader Materia Ture has resigned, if you've just uh, called in. She resigned this afternoon after Checkpoint asked a series of questions. A close family member told us today that extended family had found the past few weeks galling. Listening to her claims she'd committed benefit fraud because she and a young daughter needed the domestic purposes benefit to survive. The family member strongly refuted this, telling us Ms Ture's daughter was a much loved uh, and supported member of the extended family, including paternal grandmother, former North Shore Mayor and Labour MP Anne Hart. The family member expressed disappointment. Ms Today's friends didn't speak up about the fraud at the time, saying, I quote, that's what's calling for our extended family. It's absolutely outrageous. That is a quote. So we couldn't confirm this. We put a series of questions in writing to Ms Today just before one o'clock this afternoon. She didn't answer those questions, but called us just before five to resign, saying the scrutiny of her family had become unbearable. A media conference just held at Parliament. Joining us now is the party's remaining leader, James Shaw. James, when did you find out about all of this? Uh, I've, uh, we've met uh, sometime this afternoon, probably about two or three o'clock. And, and why, do you, why, what, why do you think she's resigned? For the reasons that she stated. Um, I mean, I have been with her over the past few weeks as people have been asking, um, you know, more and more intrusive questions about her family. Um, and it got to the point, I think, when, uh, you know, she just decided that uh, she was putting them at greater risk than was acceptable. Do you accept her version of events because boy oh boy there are stories swirling and some of them are absolutely from political opponents but the person who contacted us today what was close to the family the version of events that she articulated so persuasively uh, in the middle of July at the Green Party AGM is that still the version of her uh, life as a young solo parent on the DPB that 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 you believe yeah, I take Materia's word. Um, the woman I know is a person of great integrity, uh, and you know, as I've said before, I think everybody's entitled to a uh, to a past. Um, and you know, Materia has uh, really come from nothing, uh, from living below the breadline, to uh, you know, become ultimately the uh, co-leader of the third largest political party of New Zealand. I've known her for a number of years, uh, and I trust her a great deal. Why is she going then? Did you say to her, don't go? What you stand for, what you are articulating, what you represent uh, to a constituency who suddenly felt in the past two or three weeks like they had someone speaking on their behalf is bigger than any of this. Did you try and persuade her to stay? I supported her decision uh, to resign, um, as I've supported her decisions over the course of the last few weeks. Why? Well, because uh, over the course of the... And in, in fact, you've just articulated it very well yourself. Um, over the course of the last 15 years, she has been a really staunch advocate for people who are living in poverty. And she has been trying to get a conversation going inside the country about the way that we view poverty and the way that we treat uh, people who are living below the breadline. And uh, in my view, I, I you know, trusted her judgment when she said... After all we've tried to do over the course of the last 15 years, we still haven't managed to get that to, uh, to the level of it being a national conversation. This was a tremendous personal risk that she took for herself in telling that story about what her life was like and the bad choices that she was really faced with uh, you know, as a young solo mother. And so you know, it, it was one of those things where you know, she said, look, I think this is all I've got left to try and make this uh, a significant political movement. And she said in the stand-up, you know, in answer to the question, was it worth it? Uh, and she said, yes, it was, because there are thousands of people who have responded over the course of the last four weeks uh, saying, you know, th those stories are my stories, uh, and they finally felt that there was someone in the House of Representatives who actually represent th rep represents them. Not anymore, though. Isn't that the isn't isn't that the point? I mean, if well, she the, was telling their stories, isn't it important that she stays, or is what she's accused of uh, significant enough, sufficient enough, uh, meaningful enough for her to stand down? 
uh, as she said uh, in her stand-up just before, um, that she felt that uh, there would be a better chance of being able to represent those people and to continue that campaign without her at the helm, um, because essentially because the distraction uh, whirling around herself was making it difficult to uh, you know, to have the actual conversation around poverty and the steps that we need to take to end poverty in New Zealand. Um, and that sense of, you know, whether that was the right thing to do, combined with the pressure that, you know, her own family members were coming under, uh, I think got her to this point. What happens next? What do you do uh, going into an election campaign? Uh, we're going to win the election. So the things that we are fighting for at this election remain unchanged. You know, we do actually aim to end poverty in New Zealand, and that work will continue. Uh, we do intend to make New Zealand a world leader in the fight against climate change, and we do intend to clean up our rivers and restore our forests and our birds. And if the Green Party is at the heart of the next progressive government of New Zealand, then those three things, those commitments, will be at the top of the political agenda. And I don't think that any other political party is prepared to put those things at the top of the political agenda the way that the Green Party is. Right. Wasn't Materia today doing an outstanding job of doing that, though? Do you see, I mean, do you see my point? And, and boy, this is a lose-lose. When she wasn't resigning, people were saying, why the hell isn't she resigning? When she, when she does resign, people are saying, why the hell did she resign? But, but I think of all the people who haven't resigned, and, and we could list them on Checkpoint, but everyone knows who we're talking about. I think of all the people who have remained in Parliament. I think of a Apple, who for some extraordinary reason have cost of doing business so great in New Zealand that they're able to pay a tiny amount of tax, who've never once given me an interview. And, 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 and she goes. Isn't the point that her voice is lost while other voices prevail? John, you couldn't have said it better yourself. Well, then, well, no, this is the risk, right? This is, this is my primary concern, is that all of those people who finally saw a glimmer of hope, that someone was standing up for them, my concern is for them right now. And so, the so, commitment that, but, but, uh, sorry, so, John, let me yeah, finish. Sorry, the, fair the, enough. Commitment, the commitment that I am making as the leader of the Green Party of New Zealand and the commitment that our caucus is making and that our candidates are making is that we are here to fight for those people and that that is a bigger campaign than the one, than the one person. And so Materia has started that. She has led that. She's drawn those people out. She has paid politically the ultimate price uh, for, you know, for that. But that doesn't mean that the Green Party is going to drop that commitment. We, we, we aim to put that at the top of the political agenda in New Zealand. And I have to say, no other political party will be as bold as to say, we know what it takes to end poverty in New Zealand. I think okay. that we are the only political party prepared to make that commitment. Is it possible she made the story more this absolutely essential discussion we need to have as a country about people living in poverty? Is it possible that she made it more first person than it actually was? Because that's what the people who've been contacting us are saying. In other words, this was a discussion that she led by putting herself at the centre of it. Well, the conversation wouldn't happened if she hadn't done that. But the reason why she decided to stand down as the co-leader of the party today is because she did feel, in part, the, there are two reasons, you know, one of them being her family, but the other reason uh, was that she did feel that her own story and the stuff that was swirling around around that was getting in the way, and that was putting at risk the people who we're fighting for uh, and, and that campaign. And, and so she said, it's time for me to get out of the way. And you think that was the right call? And we've got 50 seconds. I do think that was the right call. For the right reasons? For the right reasons. Or, or for, oh, OK. And one final question, and we've got 40 seconds. Who is going to replace her as Green Party co-leader? The um, membership of the Green Party gets to decide that. Um, what happened after Rod Donald passed away um, was that Jeanette Fitzsimons continued on for eight months as the sole co-leader right. the following AGM. Yep. Um, that's the current plan, but the Green Party itself has a choice about whether to vary that. And do you think they should, 20 seconds? Uh, we haven't had that conversation. Who would moment. be your pick? Who would, I know this has only just happened, but who would be your pick? Too soon I'm to not, say? I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to speculate on okay. that, John. Um, we are going to go into this. I'm going to lead the party into this election. I'm going to lead the party into government, and we'll sort that out later.